Hello everyone, Sam here from myfirstmagicweb.com, uh, making this a small video as a weekly recap, uh, showing all the trades taken by this system, Magic Ivy system. So let's get started. Uh, week started on the 30th, August, August 30th, right? So 30th, 31st, and then for, one, for the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd of September. So this is um, uh, the first trade came about on the 31st of August. On the 30th, there was nothing. Uh, so, you know, sometimes the market is extended and then it takes a day or two to uh, get the setups back, um, you know, like a replacement and all that. So, um, yeah, you get the setup, the, the setup sets up, and then the following day, you know, the setup starts to uh, play out. So, 31st August, the first trade pound Aussie from 20 minute chart is by the book entry, beautiful entry for 90 pips. Here and then on the 31st, also Euro Aussie. You can see here. This is the, the short. And uh, in my webinar, actually, I told everyone that I'm looking uh, to um, go long if the entry uh, shows up, but it never did. There was a short setup. Uh, the news came out Aussie uh, lockdown is going to be open and all that. So Aussie started getting strong. And boom, one more time, we went down on the 31st, 90 pip here as well. Here I wrote different things here. I start writing this, uh, the conditions instead of this. Uh, you can see that these are the conditions that I pull the trigger and open the trade. The first condition, yellow line below the black line. This yellow line is below this adjacent black line. Bottom indicator all the way up. This indicator has to be up, turning to the downside. Current price is making lower high, short for uh, lower high and long, higher low. Right, and then uh, for short, blue candles turn red. So blue, 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 turn red. I open the trade here. So these three conditions have, you know, have to met first, and then this comes up, and uh, you know, candle uh, changes color, and this indicator starts to go down. I open the trade here, and I put the SL here. SL is always 25 pip. If I'm wrong, I lose 25. If I make, this is how I make. And you can see it. every single entry is like that. Yellow is below the black. This indicates all the way up. Price is making lower, high, and blue candle turn red. I open the trade. Sell order here. SL move uh, to break even 90 pip all the way. All right, so this is how. The conditions uh, I put down here so you can understand how I'm uh, doing the same here for long, just the opposite. Yellow is above the black, right? And then this indicator, indicator all, instead of all the way up at that time of pulling the trigger or opening the entry, um, opening the trade, the indicator has to be all the way down. Price has to make the higher low and then Red candle turns blue. I open the trade here and put the SL here. SL never got hit. It moved slowly that day and then it came back down here. My SL was still here and then it went up and I closed the trade for 75 pip. This is a buy order right there. So this is, you know, these are the conditions you will see everywhere. This was a trade. Then again, this was a trade. You can see this indicator. This was not the entry. You can see clearly all the other entries, uh, I mean, conditions met, but not this one. This is not all the way down here. That this indicator has to be below these two horizontal lines and then turning to the upside. So <clears throat> this is how it is. On the first uh, euro yen also, you can see this was my uh, trade on the last week sometime. And then this is the one. This is also a beautiful entry, but I, I, I didn't take it. Sometimes you're not there, so you know you miss if I'm out you know, somewhere else with my family or doing something else then yeah obviously so this one exactly by the book right and then it went up uh, similarly here um uh, euro newsy completely different pair but you can see the setup is exactly the same right this was an entry this was an entry this was an entry this is the one i took yellow is below the black this indicated all the way up red uh, price is making lower high and boom Red candle turns, uh, blue candle turned red, and I opened the trade for 75 pip. Uh, it came down here. Unless I, you know, you you take out this one, I don't make, I don't move my SL. So I didn't make the, uh, my SL move, and the price went up, and luckily it went down. And then now you can see it's how beautiful it is. 
<coughs> on this one, like uh, ending butterfly kind of pattern, right? So anyway, on the second, this is the 75 pip here. And then on the second, this is pound USD, just the opposite. And you can see the conditions are just the opposite. Yellow is above the black, this indicator all the way down. Price is making, you know, like a double bottom. It's okay, right? And um, uh, as long as everything else is, uh, you know, in place. And then red candles, boom. Blue, few blue candles, and I opened the trade, and my SL was here. When it moved up there, it hit 738, uh, uh, 35, I closed it for 80 pip. Simple as that. Now, all this, uh, this for that sys, uh, setup, I also have an alarm. When these conditions are there, all these three conditions, before the fourth one, the alarm start beeping, okay? And um, so you still have red candles and the alarm is beeping. So all you got to do is just start watching the chart and wait for the blue candles. If they show up, a couple of them, and you open the trade and then that's it. So these three conditions has to met before um, uh, the alarm start beeping. So it is pretty much that you can just put it on and then go uh, around the house and do different things. And, you know, if you hear the alarm beeping, only then you can come in open the trade uh, if everything else is uh, in place. So this is on the second, again, you can see the same scenario, yellow, black. I'm not going to repeat that again. Again, <laughs> Okay, these are the conditions. 65 pip here. And the alarm beeps all the time. This one, the alarm beep here, the alarm beeps here, the alarm beeps here. All right. So <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you decide to get the system and, and you get all these uh, you know, files and everything, and then I give you the alarm too. <clears throat> you get that and then you put it on the charts. On the third, USD CAD 20 minutes, you can see how beautiful it is, right? Same scenario, everything is same. Uh, it came down. On the third, Euro USD went up. You know, it, it is because of the USD. So you, when USD is getting weaker, USD uh, CAD goes down, your USD goes up because USD is on the right hand side and the left hand side in these two pairs. So they go opposite. So here, the same conditions uh, by the book, and it went up for 60 pip. Um, on the third, Euro Aussie, again, like I said, that I was keep thinking that this thing is going to just turn to the upside, uh, but it just keep dropping and dropping. <laughs> so I had no chance, you know, uh, choice then to take this one because it is such a perfect entry. I, I, I didn't take this one, but I says, you know what? This is not going up. This is keep going down, even though my I told everyone that you know I'm looking for a long entry, but that entry never showed up. I was looking for a seven minute chart entry um, after a 40 minute chart uh, ex uh, extended move. So the move is very, very extended, but it is just not going up. So maybe the next week, maybe next week, uh, it's good. This pair is going to retrace this one and pound us. So let's see. But this was uh, the one that I says, okay, I'll hold it and see where the heck this thing is going to go. So it came down and ran up. Again, there, this is beautiful entry, but I was in the trade, so no need to take this other entry. And it went down all the way. But I said, well, you know what? 50, 55.92 may give us a bounce. And I closed for 70 pip. You know, 50, 60, 70, 80 pip, you know, that's enough, right? So, uh, uh, you know, don't need to be greedy. Uh, but sometimes, yeah, it continued going down. It went down. It, I think it went down to 55.20. So, but that's how it is, you know. Um, and on the last but not the least is the Pound Aussie 20-minute chart. This was a perfect by the book entry again. And this went all the way down. And you can see this was an entry. I took that one. And then this one. This one is 420 pips. All right. So these are the trades that taken uh, with, uh, with uh, this system, this magic IV setup. These are the conditions that I uh, see. I have an alarm that beeps based on the condition number one, two, three. When they all together aligning, the alarm start beeping, and then I have to wait for the last uh, condition to uh, show up, and if that happens, for example, all three candles are, uh, conditions are there, but the blue candles continue going to the upside, then what? Then I don't pull the trigger, and then, you know, I let it go. But if 
you have a reversal candle and you have a couple of red candles, then only then I open the trade and put my SL right there. Like I said, if you do that, follow the rules, your SL is always 25 there. So whenever, if anytime you're wrong, you know, like for example, this was an entry, right? That never went wrong. This was the entry that never went wrong. This one, this, and all of these entries, they were all uh, by the book and perfectly played out. So there are very, you know, there, there is very few chance, very few chance, very little chance uh, to go wrong if you play by the rule. If you take the entries with this one and this one and all of those, you know, then it's different because, you know. And um, anyway, so um, this is it for now. And if you decide to go, uh, uh, you know, and uh, uh, I mean, take this uh, system, the, uh, get the system and, uh, you know, start trading like this, then go on my website and let me see if I have it here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me, no, uh, I have to uh, uh, change the screen, I guess, to show you the website. All right, you might be seeing now here. So. Uh, this is my website here, right? So you can go here and, you know, use this button to subscribe. And if you are new in trading and need to learn from the beginning and everything, then you can go on this one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. And uh, I teach uh, on this one. This course is like 10-hour uh, uh, Skype or Zoom, uh, Zoom meeting with me personally live. And uh, I, you know, no recording or anything. I, I'll be teaching you every single thing, every single aspect of this business, all of these things. You're gonna get all this, you know, this thing, and then this, these are the things that you're gonna learn. Every single thing, A to Z, uh, especially about the system and how to use it properly, all right? And do the trading and take the trades like I just showed you. So this is it for now. And, um, you know, uh, I wish you all the best and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.